Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm joined today by Geraldo from VTEX. Welcome, Geraldo. Thank you. What does VTEX do? VTEX is a software as a service e-commerce platform that is present in more than 16 countries and has more than 100 million sessions per month. So you're doing high volume traffic e-commerce, so there's some PCI here we're going to talk oh, about yes. as well. But we're going to talk about a challenge you faced around security, which is really important to most people. How did you solve it? Okay, the challenge is this. We, like three years ago, we saw that we have a lot of permanent keys in our infrastructure. And this is dangerous. This can make you bankrupt. Yeah. So the goal was to get rid of it. They're out of there. No permanent keys. Yes. Okay. And we managed to do this, and I'll show you how. Let's draw it up. Okay. So this is like the scope of the account. As you can see here, like three years ago, we already have a quite good automated environment with monitoring and continuous deployment. Fantastic. And we moved this environment to the inside of the account, to inside. So we, this, this guy has used that instance profile. Three years ago, is, is, it was quite new. And we, with this instance profile, enabled him to assume any role he needed. So this guy is quite powerful, but he, he is responsible. Yeah. So when this CI gets a push from Git for, for some build, he would check the user that pushed the tag and assume the role of this user so that when he's doing the changes, the build, the, the deployments that he needs to be done, he's doing with the proper access that the developer asked him to do. So you've, you've given your developers the least privilege they need exactly. to get the deployment happening and the CI server is grabbing that and doing it the on, that, on their behalf. The CI server is respecting the, the access of, of this developer, exactly. And this works quite well because we have like different developers, we have a bunch of developers doing this, the code pushes in, in our infrastructure and every one of them with the least privileges that they need to do this code, his code push. How often are you deploying typically? Like we, we deploy, we have a microservice infrastructure, we have like a lot of different teams and we have like more than 40 deployments per day. Fantastic. So, it's so clearly this works. Exactly, exactly. So. It, it works like every, every single day, 40 deployments, with very secure, with no direct access to the infrastructure. But once in a while, we need to have access with, through the console. Mm -hmm. And when we, we need access through the console, we, use, we don't use these this users that IAM have. It's kind of a, a permanent key. Permanent access. Exactly. Yeah. And this guy uses the same integration that IAM provides uh -huh. okay, to access the console. Integration. Exactly. And this also when these, this developer needs to access the data with, from the, his desktop, for example, to get a data from S3 to, to make some debugging or some diagnosing, he also can do this with a console tool that we call Keysmith. This console tool, he's, he put his SSO credentials on, on, on this, this tool with the challenge of multi-factor as well. And this console tool gets the, talks with simple token service, gets a temporary key, and puts in, in his profile so he can call the Amazon APIs as he wants with the proper role. Fantastic. So you're challenging with the multi-factor, so you've got extra security. The token they're getting is only temporary anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's great. So you've got least privilege, fully automated, multiple deploys. We mentioned PCI at the start. How did you de-scope so you didn't have to cover so much with PCI? Perfect. This is, this is quite important. We, we have the same process, but in another account. We have a PCI certified account, we have a, a non-PCI certified account. The processes are the same, mm -hmm. but the auditing is only made at the PCI certified so account. You're only investing in the auditing for a smaller amount. Exactly, for the services and the, and the data that needs to be certified. Fantastic. So Gerardo, your team is doing fully automated deploys, no permanent keys, using federation, multi-factor, least privilege. Sounds pretty good. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Gerardo. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching This Is My Architecture.